What's up guys, it's TJ, AKA Fishing with Yak back. I'm here today in the parking lot of what is, in my opinion, the best, the absolute best tackle shop here in South Florida. And what we're doing in today's video is I'm gonna go in this tackle shop right here, this freaking five-star tackle shop. I'm going here and I'm gonna buy the best fishing reel uh, that I could possibly find, okay? Best as, as far as like, obviously I'm not gonna spend $10,000 on a fishing reel because there are some fishing reels in here that probably cost that amount of money because the beach is like a mile that way and uh, these boys do be saltwater fishing. It's about time for me to get a new fishing reel uh, because it's fixing to be hot drop season and it is fixing to be peacock bass and snakehead season and well and really big largemouth season too. The next couple months are gonna be what is in my opinion the absolute best time to be a fisherman here in Florida, specifically South Florida because we're gonna be, uh, the peacocks are about to be going crazy, the snakeheads are gonna be going crazy, the bass are gonna be going crazy. I caught my first uh, bed fish. I caught my first bed and largemouth bass this uh, like three days ago. Now I'm not really like a sucker for bed fishing and stuff like that, right? I could really honestly care less about bed fishing, but what I do like is the post spawn, right? The post spawn. I like when they're in that just feeding frenzy after they spawn because in my, now I really don't like messing with bed fish that much to be honest. That's just, you know, some people like it, some people don't. It's just not really my style. I like to let those fish do their little cycle and a little life cycle and have all their babies and all their eggs and stuff because Dude, down here, I'm telling you, you pull one of the fish off a of bed, you're gonna have a tilapia munching on some bass eggs in like three seconds. Like, it's, it's just crazy. But anyways, let's get in here to uh, Tuppins, this five-star tackle shop, and let's go find the best fishing reel we can possibly find. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. If this is the first video that you're ever seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It should be red right now. Uh, and when you punch it, when you, when you hit it, it should turn gray. Dude, there are so many freaking awesome reels here in this uh this this tackle shop this is absolutely crazy but we are on the uh we're on the lookout today for some along these lines we could just get this one right here that's probably the best one that's also probably like ten thousand dollars no joke look they got the freaking electric reels right here this is crazy the van stalls right here dude these things those are probably like 900 dollars reels no joke maybe one day we can get a van stall maybe one day probably not today I'm still amazed at how much stuff they actually have in here. Look, I was just literally like walking around and I saw the, <laughs> you got the old Norm 350 V1s right here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Norm's shoes, but Norm has a pair of these that he wears all the time that has probably like 4,000 miles on them. They're definitely due for an oil change. Dude, this place is crazy awesome. They have literally every kind of freshwater lure that you can think of. They've got like peacock bass specific lures uh, and then they have like everything saltwater. It's so crazy, man. This is literally the best tackle shop I've ever been to in my life. How convenient, directly above the reels, we've got the old Mike Long special. We're just walking around right now though. He's helping some customers up there at the, uh, at the desk. They've got, all the, uh, they've got all the reels over there that I want to look at, so we're just waiting. Look at the rod selection, dude. This is freaking massive. There's thousands of rods in here combos and everything it's crazy all right so this is what i'm gonna do after spending some time looking around they don't have the uh what was it the vanford right they don't have the vanford i came in here for that i saw it in here right they don't have the vanford but they do have the daiwa tatula lt 3000d i've never even i didn't even know daiwa made tatula spinning reels I, I used to have a bait caster but uh that's crazy so i don't know i'm torn i'm torn right now between the 3000 and 4000 they're both the same exact price i think I don't know, man. I think I have to do the 3,000. I think I do. I don't know why. It's just something's telling me, like, swing it with the 3,000. Worst case scenario, we'll figure something out from there. But yeah, that's let's do that one. Let's do that one. And then, can I get it spooled up here too, as well? Uh, it's probably gonna sound weird, but uh, what's the most colorful line you have? You got some like 30 pound line color that changes colors and. Um, I don't think I have. I have neon green. Neon green? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that. That sounds fun. Yeah, that sounds, yeah, neon green line. Well, you know, why not? I've never used a, uh, a Daiwa spinning reel, actually. So this will be, this will be my first. So the reel that I originally uh, came in here for runs roughly, I don't know, probably after tax and everything, probably close to 300 bucks. And then I actually am, the budget, right? The, not the budget, the, um, I'm, I feel like I'm walking away with a really good deal with a really solid fishing reel at 189 bucks. You can't really like, I believe in you get what you pay for type deal. And though I did dunk my uh, other Stratic in the ocean and uh, it ruined the reel, um, it lasted me forever. Like 100% got my money's worth out of that. But anyways, we're gonna get spooled up with some neon green fishing line 
and uh, we'll see you guys back out at the truck. All right, ladies and gents, we secured the bag. Let's go ahead and load her in the truck. Let's go find some shade away from a, uh, a main road. That way we can do some talking because literally there's the there's the there's the building right there and then there's the road right there. So let's go find a let's go find somewhere that's not as busy. All right, ladies and gents, it is uh, it's now the next day. Sorry about that. My camera died. It's literally the second video in a row that my camera. I, batteries just keep dying. I don't know. Anyways, you would think I would have my, my stuff together by now, but uh, we've got the reel, right? Let's go over the little, let's go over the specs real quick because I've never used a Daiwa uh, spinning reel ever in my life. I didn't even know when he said Tatula in the, in the tackle shop, I had no clue that they even made Daiwa Tatula um, spinning reels. I had no idea whatsoever. So let's go over the specs. I'll just let you guys kind of look at it and I'll talk about it a little bit as well. So what we got? 16 pound line capacity. He said I had 160 yards. He gave me 163 yards of 40 pound braid. I wanted 30, 30 is best when you're doing the kind of fishing that I do around here. Uh, 30 pound braid is best, but I usually use on a spinning combo, I'll, I'll put 30 pound braid with a 20 pound leader, but that's just down here. Like if I go anywhere else in the country, it'd be probably the same actually, I don't know. I just, anyways, back to the specs. So it's a 621, which is actually, I believe it's kind of fast for a spinning reel. Uh, it's got, where's the drag? That's what I am most concerned. 22 pounds of drag, max drag is 22 pounds. That's really good, I dig that, I like that. Uh, 36.8 inches per turn. It's got six something right there, maybe six bearings, I'm not sure. I don't, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say bearings. Overall though, uh, and it was $189. So, it looks freaking awesome. I'm gonna have to get quite a bit of use out of this before I can give you guys like a sound judgment call on whether or not I think it's worth it. Uh, it looks cool, but looks definitely are not everything, especially when you're gonna be doing the kind of fishing uh, that I'm doing specific. Anyways, we gotta get this bad boy put on a rod and I have a couple of uh, spinning rods here with me. I have some, uh, some of the new Guggen rods with me. I just don't know, let's put these right here for now. Oh my goodness. I have a couple of the, gosh, I have a couple Guggen spinning rods here with me. I don't know which one I wanna put it on, so I'm just gonna kinda, I'm just gonna read these out. No, oh. With the type of fishing that I'm gonna be doing, uh, I like a, uh, somewhere in the six foot, six foot eight to like six foot 10 range, uh, and, and like a medium or a medium moderate or something like that. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. We got five to choose from. Let's see which one we're gonna put the new reel on. All right, the first one we have, a seven foot medium fast, that's not bad. Seven foot medium fast, that's green, that's gold. 610 medium moderate, that might be, that might be the one, I'm not sure. Let's see what else we got. Seven foot medium fast, okay, so that was the same. And let's see, 610 medium moderate. Oh, that's so tough. Okay, so I'm gonna put these three back for now, but it looks like I have two six foot 10 medium moderates. Personal opinion, Six foot eight medium moderate is the absolute perfect rod for what I'm doing, but I'll do six foot 10. Two inches doesn't make that much of a difference. I get, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I, I just like fishing. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the gold, try this one out for a little bit, and then we'll switch it to the green uh, in, in some upcoming videos. And we'll kind of just get a feel for which one we like both. I think both of them are gonna be great. I just see, start with the gold, why not? Ladies and gents, we are 100% rigged up and ready to go. We've got a 3.3 uh, inch saucy swimmer on there with a little super bright colored jig head. Because when you're fishing for these kind of fish in these kind of situations and circumstances, you want to be able to see that fishing lure 100%. That way you can uh, capitalize and set the hook when they go and slurp that thing up. So let's get the GoPro fired up. Actually, let's get to the water first, then get the GoPro fired up. Let's get to fishing. Holy mother of smokes. Look at this dragon I just walked up on. Literally. Look at this thing right here. God, dog, that thing will whip you. All right, I'm not going, I'm not coming. <laughs> that thing will whip the mess out of you with his tail. <laughs> Jeez. Today we're just setting the conditions, basically. We're kind of walking around, gonna do a little pond hop and see what the, uh, see what the fish are doing in different bodies of water. That way it'll give me a good sign of like where I need to fish and, and how much longer we have until it's time to, to do some cool guy fishing stuff. So just do a little hopping around today.
There you go, baby. Let's go. First fish. Right out the lily pads. Right out the pads. There we go. Nice little thick. Nice little thick largemouth. First fish to come on the brand new reel. That's freaking awesome, dude. This little contraption right here never fails. Good fish. Right out of the weeds, too. I was like, you know what? If I can get down in there, it's probably going to be there. All right, my man. Thanks for playing. We'll catch you next time. That was epic, dude. Straight back down he goes. Let's go, dude. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this reel right here. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to be for sure because it's got quite a bit of plastic on it. And I'm used to uh, the last, like, really, really solid spinning reel I have was the uh, Stratic. I'm used to, you know, the way that operates and feels. But, but this one's, uh, this one's been good so far. I definitely don't want to judge it right now because I've only got one fish catch on it. So we'll wait till we catch a couple solid fish on it and we'll see. You know, put it through the ringer. And I'll give you guys like a comprehensive type and I'll give you guys a comprehensive type deal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in a in a, a drastic, not drastic, but drastic turn of events, I'm at Lojo's Pond. The last time they saw me, this guy, this obviously makes no sense for you guys either. The last time they saw me, yeah. I was in like Miami, downtown Miami, fishing. <laughs> now you're in Alabama. Now right? I'm in Alabama at nice. Lojo's Pond. Okay, so. A little backstory here. We're, we're filming some Guggen Week videos for the Guggen Squad YouTube channel that you guys will see come out, uh, I don't know, probably in the next month or so. Next couple weeks, next month, whatever. But this video was actually intended on uh, being about this reel right here. I actually went and bought the, uh, the quote unquote best reel at the local tackle shop. So Ayo. So I see actually, let me show you guys a little something, something. This is my combo right here. Look at, what, what, let's not just, let's just not speed past like, let me not even get in their way. Look at that. That's magical. That's the, that's the best farm dog you yeah. could ever ask for, you know? Just chilling. Yeah. And a smooth 46 degrees out here. Yeah. Body warmth. This yeah. Home. So it looks to me like, obviously, this is my combo. But something I noticed when I got here to Lojo's the other day is Lojo actually has the same reel. So my <laughs> assumption would be AO has used this reel before. Yeah, I have. Okay. I have. So it, it really quick, like, because I'm going to still... Hey, let me fix that. Really quick, like, because I, I I did catch a bass on that, right? Okay. And I was like five cast in. I don't want to judge the reel. Like, it's not, it wouldn't be a fair comparison to have, uh, to be able to speak on a reel. I don't know. You know, yeah. I don't have much experience with it. So, right. what did you think so far about the Dawa Tatula spinning reel? I didn't even know they made those. Yeah. So, so, what do you think? We literally found this at Gander Mountain. There's only a couple still open. Yeah. Um, but we got it and we fished a handful of times. And I think I've caught two catfish and one bass. And it's done great. And it's done great with terrible, terrible line. You're not supposed to put, like, this is 65 pound braid. Yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> no, <laughs> did you put that on there? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Dude, well, Wait, but there was already 65 on there. there was. And then it stripped off and then I put it back on. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. we put some more on there. But <laughs> even with that, it did great. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, so overall, I mean, it didn't. It doesn't see. Have you ever used one? Well, I don't think you. No, have, yeah. I haven't. <laughs> yeah. The only the only spinning reel that I really like have extensive experience with is the Stratic. Yeah. And that's what I I was after was the new, uh, the new. Well, it's not a Stratic anymore. It's called like the Vanford or something like that. But they didn't have. They had just sold it before I walked in the door. Yeah. Anyways. There's so many names nowadays. There's so many names, and they are just fishing reels. But uh, I'm gonna obviously talk lots more about that. How's that? Crispy. Yeah. I'm gonna talk a lot more on this channel about that reel once I get some more use out of it. But oh, so it wasn't only just a challenge reel. This might be a permanent reel in the arsenal. Oh, yeah, it's. Ooh. I mean, it's gonna have to. Bro, it was two hundred bucks. It's gonna have to be it's a permanent. It's, it's made its way in by force. So it's, yeah, it's here to stay at least for a little bit. So, okay. anyways, I know this is crazy. This is we are not in Miami. The exact opposite of Miami. It's actually. freezing cold. I want to be in Miami right now. When I started, when I started filming this video. It was 86 degrees outside. Now it's oh, four, it's four. I think it's 44 right now. But With obviously, Florida boys, hour winds. Florida boys and Georgia boys are wearing shorts. Obviously, yeah. shorts and Yeezys. You, already, you know the deal. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please check these guys out. They uh, check. Not only check us out, but check our YouTube channels out yeah, too. Check.
You Second could mile. do that. You could do either or, or you could do both. Both would be best. Right. Both yes. would be best. All right. Right. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next adventure. I love you. Peace.